Number five is a similar setup to number four. Um, it's, we know it's going to be another quadratic model. The highest power of t is two. But this time, instead of being launched from the ground level, it's launched from a height of four feet. So it adds that extra plus four at the end. We're asked to find how long it will take the ball to reach a height of 100 feet. So you just set the height s equal to 100 in the equation. And then you want to solve for t. This is a quadratic equation. So what you want to do is move everything over to one side. So I moved everything over to the left side here. And then I see that I can factor out something from each of those terms. And it may not be obvious at first, but it turns out you can factor out a 16 from each term. So I'll do that. And I'll divide both sides by 16. And then I want to factor if I can. So I take that t squared minus 5t plus 6. I try to think of two numbers that multiply to positive 6 and add to negative 5. And negative 3 and negative 2 will do that. So I know how to factor it. Once I have it factored and I have one number times another number equals 0, one of those two numbers had to be 0. So I set them both equal to 0. I find two different t values. t equals 3 seconds and t equals 2 seconds. And so what's happening is the ball goes up and then after two seconds it hits 100 feet, it keeps going up and then it comes back down and at three seconds it hits 100 on its way back down. What we were interested in was the two seconds because that's when it first hits 100 feet. And then when we graph it, uh, we already know it's going to be a parabola. We know several points on the graph. We know that when t equals zero, the height is four. You can just plug in t equals zero to find s equals four. And then we know at t equals two and at t equals three, the height is 100. So we can plot those points. And then We'll connect them with a smooth line that makes a parabola. Um, but specifically, since the height is at 100 for t equals 2 and t equals 3, we know that the vertex has to happen halfway between the 2 and the 3. So the vertex will happen at 2.5 seconds. So I just want to make it look like that when I'm sketching the graph. When we had money earning simple interest, that was a linear model. When you fire an object up, you throw it, you keep track of it, that's a quadratic model.